In this two-part overview, I'll be showing you how to get started in Mix Emergency by going over the essentials and basic functionality, along with Serato DJ integration. Part 1 covers the basics of the interface, loading and mixing videos, effects, and presets. So this is the main window in Mix Emergency. These three black boxes here are your video channels. This is your left channel, your main output, and your right video channel. And it's set up this way because in the preferences, I've chosen the layout single window preview. As you can see, multiple window preview separates all of them. But it's really up to you how you want it set up. On the far right here are buttons to reveal various parts of the Mix Emergency interface. So first we'll click on the control panel, and this loads up the video mixer interface right here. Click on the media panel icon in the Mix Emergency main window if you haven't yet. And the media panel is where you load your videos. This right here is the media bank. The number of videos is limited by these boxes, but you can load up multiple banks using presets, which we'll go over later. Open up the finder and go to the folder containing your videos. I've already chosen mine here. Choose the videos you'd like to import and drag directly into your media bank. If this is your first time running Mix Emergency, you'll notice that there are no images associated with your videos. So to create images or thumbnails, you can right click on an individual video and click on Generate Thumbnail. To generate thumbnails for the entire media bank, just right click anywhere in the media bank and click on generate all thumbnails. And that should do the trick. To load a video, just click on any video in your media bank and it'll load in the inactive video channel. So down here on your mixing interface, you'll notice that the crossfader is all the way to the left. So that means that the right channel is currently the inactive channel. You can also just drag a video directly into the channel of your choice. So to remove a video from your media bank, just right click on the video and press delete. Or to remove an entire set of videos, right click and clear media bank. In the control panel, the left, main and right sections here correspond to each video channel. The manual playback controls are located under the TS tab for each individual channel. So I'll explain how each of the playback controls work. This one is your cue to the beginning button, and it just starts the video from the end point. This is your rewind button, and it rewinds the video at double speed. This is the reverse. This is your normal playback or play forward button. And this is your fast forward button. So to pause a video, just click on the play button and it'll just pause the video for you. This white bar right here is your media progress bar and it just shows you in time where your video currently is. And this is your capture image button and it creates a thumbnail of the current video frame in the media bank. So if I click it, you'll notice that this image changes. And lastly, we have your eject button, and this just removes the currently playing video. So the next thing I'll talk about is the video mixer. And this is the part of the interface to mix your videos. You have your left and right channel faders right here. The crossfader is used to fade between and mix your videos. And right now it's on the dissolve transition. But if you click on this transition drop down menu, this is used to select the type of transition that you want to use. So I'll go to bad switch and you'll notice that when I transition between the two videos now, it has this bad TV switch effect. So to control the value of this effect or the amount, use this transition parameter knob here and you'll see that the transition amount changes. This button here above the crossfader is the link crossfader toggle, and this is used to link your Serato controller or mixer to Mix Emergency. 
This right here is your link to up faders toggle. And this is used to link the left and right channels of your Serato controller or mixer. And just make sure that these are active. And this is indicated by the color blue if you want to activate it. This button to the right of your crossfader is the auto fade button. And all this does is fade automatically between your videos. Next is your auto fade with crossfader toggle and basically this just links the crossfader to the auto fade function. So to control the speed of the auto fade, there's this knob right here, which is the auto fade duration knob. And all this does is control the speed between the auto fades. So the faster you want it, you move it to the far left and the slower you move it to the right. The next thing I'll talk about are effects controls. So click on the effects tab of your video channels, which are located right below the TS tab. And basically all the controls here apply to both left and right channels along with the main output. So it works all the same way. This is the effects dropdown used to select the type of effect you'd like go with a kaleidoscope here and you can see that it's applying this kaleidoscopic effect and right here are the parameter knobs and these are used to adjust the values of your effects they change depending on the type of effect loaded as you can see here this is for a division and angle to the right is your beat display and this displays the current beat of the video and this is more useful when syncing to audio. Lastly, we have the effect mix knob, which controls the amount of effects applied to the video. And this amount is blended to the source. So you can choose the type of blending mode by clicking on this drop down here to whatever suits your taste. I'll go and switch this back to normal. And next I'll talk about presets. In your main mix emergency window, if you click on this icon here, it loads up the presets window. And what presets do is allow you to save and recall your favorite settings. So I'll be going over a few. And the first is effects. So what you'll want to do is tweak your effects to your liking. So right here, you know, I have this kaleidoscope effect and I'll just tweak the values a little bit here. And once you're happy with the setting, go over to your preset effects window and just choose a bank. So I'll pick the first bank and choose a number trigger. So I'll pick the empty one right here, number six. To save your effects setting, pick which video channel has the effect you want to save. In this case, it's the left channel, and that corresponds with the letter A. Letter B corresponds with the right channel. So I'll switch back to A so I can save the left video channel's effect. So just click on the save icon, and as you can see, the kaleidoscope effect saves on the preset number trigger. To recall your saved effect, just choose the video channel to recall to, and click on the number trigger. So right here, I'm clicking on these various presets that I set. And it's all affecting the left channel, which is also A. If you want to rename one of your presets, just double click on its name and type whatever you choose. If you want to erase a preset, just click on this trash icon here on the bottom right, and it'll empty out your preset. So there are two tabs on here, safe and active. What the safe tab does is triggers a preset effect to the inactive video channel. So if you look at your fader, it's set to the left, which means that the right channel is inactive. So now if you click on one of your effects presets, it'll apply to the right video channel, just like this. So if I switch over to the right channel, now the left is inactive. 
and the effects get applied to the left video channel. The active tab essentially triggers your preset effect to the currently active channel, which is set to the right at the moment. So you can see it's being affected. The next set of presets I'll talk about are the transition presets. And it pretty much works in a similar fashion as the effects. In the video mixing interface, choose your transition. I'm going with cube. And what this does is kind of create a cube effect between the two video clips. You know, tweak it a little bit. And once you're happy with that, you'll want to go back to the preset effects window, choose your bank, and save to the number trigger of your choice. So now if I click on the various presets, you'll notice that the transition will change between the two video clips. And all the presets pretty much work the same way. So for instance, you can double click on the name of the preset to change its name. And you can also empty a preset out by clicking on the trash icon. There are a bunch of different presets that you can save, but I won't be going through each one here. So I'll briefly tap through some of these so you can see what's available for you to set up. Next I'll be focusing on the media bank preset. And the media bank preset is the best way to store multiple sets of videos if you have a large library. So I went ahead and set up all our visuals as presets, as you can see by the various names I have here. And to load up your presets, just like the other presets, click on the number trigger, and you'll see that the media bank changes and loads up the various visual sets that we have available on our website. This is the end of part one of this overview for Mix Emergency. In the second part, we'll go over overlays, MIDI, display controls, and Serato DJ integration. Thanks for watching, and see you in part two.